Okay, the last thing that we're going to work on, the last thing we're going to work on is filling in this information. So, remember your vertex was at 1, negative 9. Your axis of symmetry is always your x value. So, it's always x equals 1, or it's always whatever this x value is. Remember, in the equation, your y-intercept is your c value, okay? And in this case, it was negative 8. So our y-intercept is at 0, negative 8. Your x-intercepts, which are your zeros, was at uh, 4, 0, and at negative 2, 0. Now we're going to leave the domain in range. Now, if you were to graph this on the calculator, it's going to look something like this. So here's your equation. We're going to go ahead and graph it. Now notice, this one goes up, so it's going to have a minimum. It's going to have a minimum down here at the bottom. So going back to this, you're going to. It's going to be. It's going to open up, and then it's going to have a minimum. All right. So now we want to graph this. All right. I'm going to plot these points now. Make sure you're spacing these evenly. So notice our x-intercepts are right here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Now, our y enters our vertex is down here at negative 9, so that's going to be my lowest point. Make sure you have enough space to go that far. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we're going to go one more for 10. All right, now that we've got our bars set, we're going to plot those points. So my vertex is at negative 1, or sorry, 1, negative 9, which is right here. All right, my y-intercept's at negative 8, 0, negative 8. I have an x-intercept at negative 2, 0, and at 4, 0. Now, one of the things you need to realize is that there's an axis of symmetry. Now, notice your axis of symmetry goes right through your vertex. Now, I'm going to fix that here in just a second. I'm going to move this over. Just a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's actually, I'll just move it over a little bit. There we go. Now, there's our axis of symmetry. Now, remember, if this goes up one and to the left one, I can also go up one to the right one, and there's another point right there because this is symmetrical. So if it's one this way, it's also one that way. So let me go ahead and erase those marks. All right, here we go. So I'm right there. Now that I have those points, it's going to be easier for me to graph. So kind of, I know, just do the best you can. Put arrows right here. And there you go. Just go ahead and make that solid as best you can. Now don't graph this curve until you have all those points labeled. Now, right here, this is at negative 2, 0. Label all your points, 4, 0. This one here is at 0, negative 8. This one here is at 2, negative 8. And of course, your vertex is at 1, negative 9. And if you label all those points, now your axis of symmetry is x equals 1. That's that green line that's going down the middle. And that's basically what you're going to do. Your domain, now remember your domain, this graph, notice it's going this way and this way. That means it's going to go forever and ever, both directions. So your domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. And then your range, let me go ahead and erase that part. Your range, remember, goes from top to bottom. So if this is your lowest point, it's going to start there and go up. So your lowest point is at negative 9. And it's just going to go all the way up to infinity. And that negative 9 is included. And that's how you will graph this problem.